All right, Adam the Woo celebrating his uh, achievement of a half a million subscribers. So he decides to uh, pay for two nights at the Contemporary Hotel there at Disney uh, Orlando in uh, Epcot. Okay, okay, so uh, the Daily Woo, there we are. There's the, uh, okay, so it's a beautiful room looking out. There's Magic Kingdom up that way. Beautiful, beautiful view. Two big bedrooms. And Adam is all alone. <laughs> He's all by himself for two nights in this uh, big room, you know, nice room. It's really pretty. Got a gorgeous view. Look, that's right. And he's got no one to share it with. And, uh, you know, there's the dining arcade there, which is pretty empty right now. They're kind of on pandemic status at Disney. Some of the things are open. Some of the things aren't. Uh, yeah, so anyway... Uh, so Adam is uh, contemplating what does it mean to be a mi half a million subscribers. I never, never thought that. Gosh, I never thought I would even get to 50,000 subscribers, 100,000 subscribers. 500,000. Like speechless. Ooh. Life is, is very interesting how you, you devote yourself to something and you put, you know, especially constantly going out and doing stuff and traveling and there are sacrifices you have to make. Mm -hmm. And then you look back at those and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there comes a point when things are worth it. And you have to have a little, you have to have some celebrations. So no regrets on booking this room. All right, it doesn't, you know, hey, do you detect a slight lack of giddiness and celebrate? He's having a celebration himself in the room by himself. You know what I'm saying? It does, it just does, you know, it's kind of like, okay, mm -hmm, 500,000. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my portfolio is over a million dollars. I'm a millionaire. I'll take, I think I'll go out to eat alone tonight. I'm just saying. You know, congratulations to Adam. He has busted his butt for many years working on his Disney stuff. Uh, you know, he's actually thinking about getting that as a tattoo. Okay, that's the Disney's Contemporary Resort logo. Not a picture of another person that he loves or, you know, a particular cause or whatever in his life. No, he's going to get a tattoo of a, a corporate hotel at Disney on his wherever he puts it. He act, that's actually what he said. So. Kind of sad, right? <laughs> I don't know. Which got me to thinking. You know what they need to do? They need to have a YouTube cemetery somewhere. Maybe they could... San Bruno, California, there where YouTube's headquarters are. It's pretty expensive real estate. Maybe they could put it somewhere else. But when YouTube creators die, they would have the option of having a plot there in the YouTube cemetery. Uh, and they could have a tombstone that would have, you know, here lies Camo Dave. Uh, you know, he topped out at, you know, 17,000 subscribers and his average watch hours were, you know, 42,000 a week. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? That would go on your tombstone along with <clears throat> here lies so-and-so. <sighs> Congratulations, Adam. Well earned. I wish you were a little happier about it, though. Letters, 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 letters. Joy says she's skeptical of all of Mike's Living Free Mike's donations are legit. You know, I I don't know. You know, PayPal. You can reverse a PayPal. I don't know if you can reverse a super chat when she made it. Has anyone ever done that? Let me know in the comments below. Have you ever given a super chat donation and then said, mm, I changed my mind? I'd like to know if it's reversible. I don't know. Brian Garrow says, I don't know about you, but I'm getting tired of the ignorance of all the people who won't do social distancing or wearing a mask. I guess the crippling economy and endangering your family and friends is a great, is a great way to show your freedom. And I, I am... Uh, I am uh, assuming that's a YouTube related comment. Anyway, yeah, I don't know. You know, we do see a lot of nomads on YouTube that aren't social distancing and they aren't wearing masks and they just, uh, you know, maybe they are and they're just not showing it or maybe they don't care.
Valerie123ish says, Mike, Living Free Mike has worked hard to get where he is, bumming around the country for a few years, making somewhat funny content. His winter truck camping series is the best, in my humble opinion. Now he's living the life. You know, yeah, you know, but but he has a big enough living, living the life, but he, you know, getting off the road. We'll put that in, you know, reword it a little bit. But he has a big enough fan base to keep him stocked up with his food and uh, his complaint videos. Yeah. Cooking with Mike, right? Go, Mike. Living the dream. YouTube is a job. <laughs> Hey, I featured Dreaming Out Loud RVing this morning in my video. They did a video featuring uh, Kevin's old ProMaster that they bought. Hey Dave, thanks for the shout out. We appreciate it, Paul and Megan. Thank you. Ribbon Tracy says she was in uh, Living uh, Living Free Mike's live stream once. I did see her and uh, she was trying to score a live stream interview for her friend Bob Adventures. Uh, I heard you're going to be interviewed. Me? <laughs> I, I'll do an interview, you know, I don't know. Uh, anyway, yeah, let's let's interview everybody. Uh, Michelle says, uh, hey, Dave Forresty Forrest does such neat videos and uh, she sends me a picture of the latest or a link to the latest. He, not much to show in his latest video, though. He does have a girlfriend with him now. So he and this chicky poo are hanging out together. It's a kind of a different kind of video for Forresty Forrest. I don't know. There's something I liked about his soloness. I don't know. I, are wedding bells coming for Simon, a.k.a. Foresty Forrest? I don't know. Arb Clayman says, Living Free Mike has not had any good videos in a while. He used to send his drone through the air with some cool scenery. He used to hang out with a group and have fun. Ever since Marlo left, he has been struggling. <laughs> Yeah, the Slab City thing didn't go well. You know, he's going to spend a good chunk of this year at Slab City. That didn't go well. Um, yeah, I don't know. Mike, what do you say? Poor Mike, but the trolls, the trolls are all over him. But, you know, he turned it to his advantage last night and got a solid grand. What, is a grand $1,000? Yeah, something like that. Minus 30% to Super Chat. Sorry. Trisha Russell, Russell says she was amazed to see Pandemonium's latest video, Crowded Town Restaurants, Here We Mask Up and Are Worried. Yeah. I don't know. Pandemonium does like to show people sitting around crowded tables eating. Okay. And that, that's one thing she likes to show. So I, I guess it makes us all, if we're hungry, why, why is it? You know, it's like a lot of us are trying to lose some weight. Not that I need to, but, you know, always get stay in ship shape. But yeah, you're sitting there watching these nomads eating all this stuff and you're like, oh my God, I got to call out DoorDash or something. Arlen Richards says, you're right about, you're right, Dave, about sitting on the sidelines watching Mike, watching his live streams there. Reminds me of my childhood watching Jerry Lewis do the telethons every year. You know, there, there is something about a good comparison there to Living Free Mike and Jerry Lewis. You know, maybe you know, maybe they should bring back those telethons every Labor Day, and maybe there's a there's a jobby poo for Mike hosting a telethon. He might be good at it. Any P says hats off to the critics. Long live C R Boger, <laughs> American Super Tramp, D C Parodies, and all the truth telling tolls. And then Gothic Child responds, "Truth, oh no, wait, trolls equal truth." Meows. Oh, and finally, Steve writes, uh, what is the personality of people willing to uh, give super chats to people just for, for just begging for them? I give money to someone that they that entertains, but uh, but a lot of these are not entertaining at all. I guess these, you know, I don't know. You know, again, entertaining is in the mind of the beholder, right? <laughs> Will a donor to these folks confess what their thought process really is? I don't know. You know, again... When you have a lot of subs, okay, you get subs. You get 10,000, 11, I got 11,000 now. Woohoo! You get 500,000, like out of the woo, whatever you get, you know, 60,000, 50,000, 70,000. There's always going to be a couple people in there that just like the cut of your jib. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For some reason, they just like something about you. Maybe they're sorry for you, or maybe they're. They, they want to, you know, I don't know. I don't know. And they, there's always a few people, a few, you know, you don't, again, you know, maybe just half of 1% that are willing to throw some bucks at you. And uh, 
And that's okay. It's a free country. And, you know, if somebody wants to do it, why not? You know, if you can tap into that, you know, if you're not promising them something, you're not going to say, I'm going to come by and fix your toilet for your $500 donation. You're not promising to give them anything. You're just saying, hey, you like my channel? You like me? You think I'm handsome? Do I take my shirt off? Does that turn you on? Hey, you know, <laughs> if it does, throw me some money. You know, hey, it's America, right? You know, look at advertising. Look at all the crap they advertise. Most of it is junk anyway, overpriced garbage, and they get people to pay for it, you know? The salesman, you know, that there's a thing now, Mike. You got you've got a salesman's personality. You might be good at sales, you know? I don't know. Just saying. You know, maybe we're he's stumbling into a new midlife chain course change for his career from YouTube creator to I don't know, selling something. Is sell a car sell car sale car salesman. Anyway. Sell RVs. My <laughs> Living Free Mike's RV sales can compete directly with squeaky RV sales. There we go. <laughs> All right, folks. Hey, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. It is the uh, Tuesday, the uh, 28th of July, 2020. Thanks so much for watching. Blog Under. <laughs>